In this video, we will be discussing when you actually should take the FE exam. Now, I know how you may be feeling. For some people, this test can be a bit overwhelming and it is a long test with a bunch of different topics. So I'm going to be sharing some like a checklist or some things that you should keep in mind to tell yourself, OK, I am ready to take this exam. And I know for some people you feel like you're not ready and you get close to go ahead and, you know, signing up to take the test. And then you say, mm, I don't think I'm ready. And then for some people, you took the time to sign up for the test and you're getting closer and closer to test date and you're going back and wondering, should you reschedule? The very first thing that identifies that you are ready to take your FE exam is that you have went through and done practice problems on each of the concepts that is listed within the FE manual for your section. So I took the civil FE exam and at the bottom it had a list of so many different concepts that I needed to master. And I literally went through and did practice problems for all of those concepts and fully understood them. And so this may, you know, take some time. It's not going, you're not going to, you know, know everything overnight. If you went to school for four years and study, you know, and have your undergraduate degree, then you have an idea of some of these concepts, but you're going to have to review, refresh, and do plenty, plenty of practice problems. Now, if you are in the civil section, you are lucky. So what I'm doing is, is going through and literally doing practice problems on this channel with you all, every single concept, every single topic that's going to be tested on this FE exam, I'm working with you literally one on one, step by step um, on this channel. So if this is something that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I also do like tips on how to pass the FE exam and give you extra little pointers about things that you can do as far as like networking and securing, you know, your first job. So Hopefully this is helpful for you all. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. The second identifier that lets you know that you are ready to take this FE exam is that you have taken at least two practice tests. And these are the full practice tests, like the ones that have 110 problems or how many ever problems that it is when, as you're watching this video, and it's like the full five hour exam. So you've sat through and have taken the full test, no peeking at the answers, no uh, stopping other than the breaks that will be given to you on the actual exam. And then after you've done that, you have went through and reviewed how you did and really, you know, got a glimpse of what your score would be when you take the real exam. Now, I would advise that you choose two different exams. And when I say different exams, I just mean exams that are not by the same company. Now, the NCEES uh, creates their own practice test. And this is a good one. For me, it was a bit easier than the exam that I took on the actual on my actual test date, but it was good to see the concepts and to kind of go through and practice. I also took a second test and that test was a little bit more challenging. So for all of the practice tests that um, I have or the resources that I will be creating. I will leave links to everything down in the description box. So be sure to check those resources out. And the third identifier that lets you know that you're ready for this FE exam 
is that you have taken the time to talk to someone who has passed the exam. Now, it could be a friend, it could be uh, me, it doesn't matter who that person is, but you need to have a conversation with them, you know, texting on the phone, because what happens is, is when you surround yourself with people that you aspire to be like, you end up becoming similar to those people. It's just like, you know, you are the five, you're, you're, uh, whoever you hang out with the most, you're going to become similar to them, right? They're going to affect you in some type of way. And so it's the same thing with this exam. We want to pass. We want to do well so that we can become professional engineers or we can just increase and develop our career or we make more money, whatever your reasoning is. You want to pass this exam. And so when you talk to somebody who has already done what you're wanting to do, they can give you extra tips, extra nuggets that they have experienced. And it even helps when you talk to someone who has recently passed it because things change over time, right? The handbooks change. The atmospheres may change. The locations may change. But... Uh, the success and the result of them, you know, passing that test, that is a fact. So surround yourself with those type of people. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn, Instagram, doesn't matter. And let's talk. Let's literally, um, I've given you some tips here, but um, I will share any other gems that, you know, has been helpful for me because I want you to ultimately succeed. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Please, please, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you found some value. And if you want to uh, keep up with when I post, when I create new content, I think that is all for today. I will see you all in the next video.